Look at that. Oh, that looks good. today oh my gosh our first fig oh yeah okay nice and soft <gasps> it's tiny but I love it <gasps> I love it I think this one actually is ready as well even though it's super tiny too I don't care that one is too tiny and this guy didn't really produce any figs, but he's going to get nice and big because he's really strong. All right, you guys. Should we go inside and try them? You ready? Oh, wow. That's what I've always wanted. I know. A lasso rope for all my lassoing. So we can pack this lasso in our sheet. <laughs> Where did you find this? Trash. In the trash? Yeah. Oh. That is kind of cool, but we don't know where it's been, so maybe we should clean it. It could have been like picking up kitty litter or something gross. Okay, try to lasso Minnie. You know I lasso, right? <laughs> you know how to lasso? Oh, like this? Oh my gosh, did you used to be a Texas Ranger? Nice. Uh, you probably should do it outside. Okay, we'll do that later today, definitely. You gotta get your cowboy hat. We gotta be legit here. Hey, do you wanna try these figs with me? Okay, I get the big one. Okay. Get in the camera so they can see. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. It tastes so good. Is that? It, it tastes just like a fig. So, that's good. Can you eat that? Yeah, you can eat that. Oh, I can't wait till that thing's huge. We gotta, so that fig tree, could be probably double the size if I had put enough mulch around the bottom of it and made sure it got enough water. So we're definitely gonna finish those berms tonight or tomorrow morning. And so we can put tons of wood chips down there and produce amazing fruit like this. We gotta remember, figs are done like end of July, early August. All right, it's a gorgeous Sunday today. And so we're just, uh, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. I feel like I should put it back in a ponytail. Okay, so today we're gonna make like a, a pasta for lunch. So we're gonna take this uh, this ancient grains, ancient harvest, gluten-free pasta. We're going to put a bunch of veggies in it. It's gonna be good. lunchtime for us and it's gonna be lunchtime for all the animals normally we don't feed them lunches but we've got all this leftover all these scraps from just the last couple days I'm always wearing this Bluetooth because in videos because I like to watch YouTube channels and uh, just informational videos about gardening whatever and I like to do that while I'm cooking all right, guys, the compost is looking pretty sad, but I'm gonna dump all this in there and then we'll let the chickens do their work. So a couple of my favorite YouTube channels. I'm not that good. I, I feel like I don't want to recommend any because you guys are gonna probably say you should be following all these other people I just I don't know how many youtubers I guess but um I really really like art and Bree. I think that they're a really fun homestead to follow and they're always happy and they're always just doing lots of fun stuff and I just I just like their personalities um they're super cool people I also like I'll have to conjure up a list I can't think of any more than that right now. So that's all I got for now. Look at what a nice husband I have. 
He's putting in this little cage for me to organize all my cords. I'm so excited. It's gonna look so good. So first, what are you doing? Just doing that to help me do that? Okay. So first it looks like this. And then it's gonna look like, okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. It's all hidden now. And you can stand back here. And it's all organized. Oh! Yeah, are you happy? Yep. Late afternoon monsoons coming in. I was gonna fly the drone, but it was too late. Too windy out here. So right now, I am trying to do some planting. So I got these flats of 72 cells. So we're gonna fill these up, and then we're gonna plant corn today. what I have here so I soaked this is the corn that I'm gonna grow this fall and I soaked the corn in water and this helps with the germination but it also helps you know which little uh, corns might not germinate which is the ones that float so this one's been soaking for 24 hours and that one just never sank so it's the same thing as eggs you know all right so over here we're gonna go ahead and dump out the water all right let's get going done now and I'm really actually really happy with these uh, um, plant cell trays these uh, seedling trays that I bought um, because you know how you bought have you ever bought them and they've been like super super flimsy well these are super heavy duty and that's what I needed so I got these on Amazon and then they also have the tray underneath so it'll catch all the liquid that comes through all right, this corn should come up pretty quick because I soaked them and well, corn comes up really quick. Let's see, I need to put it over here under my grow lights. I've got them all in my little grow station here. They're at the bottom here, so hopefully the dogs don't try to eat the corn as it comes up. And I haven't even shown you guys my grow station for a while, right? So I've had, um, just been kind of, I planted all this stuff before we left for the cabin, and so some of this is just, they're just like baby stages of cantaloupe and watermelon. Some Malabar spinach, another round of basil. I think that's about it. So we're gonna plant that again. Um, I'm trying to hopefully hold them off until I can plant um, in that area next to the house, the area that we're gonna do in-ground planting. But now it's time to plant the rest of the beans. Well, I'm not gonna be able to film it, but I'm gonna go get that done right now. Hey, honey. What? Guess what? what? It's raining because we're gonna get irrigation. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. It's so nice. You can't see it, but you're just gonna have to trust me because it's so nice out here. It's raining, oh, I love it. All right, you guys, I think that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. We were able to do some planting right before it rained, so that was good because I got all those bush beans in the ground. That was cool. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.